Hello there, I'm Tim Buckley, one of the driver trainers for Buffalo Logistics and Facilities. I'm now going to show you how to operate the deck on the double deck trailers. To ensure that there is power to the trailer for us to be able to operate and raise and lower the deck of the double deck trailer, I need to make sure that the Anderson lead is connected. I'm now going to show you how to connect the Anderson lead. Now the important thing is to make sure the connections are free from dirt, free from any grit, and also not broken. This will only attach one way, and it attaches just here. That has now put power to the trailer for us to be able to operate the deck. There are two main areas to operate the deck in terms of raising and lowering. The first one being right at the back. And I'm gonna show you how to operate these right now. At the rear of the vehicle then, and inside the trailer itself, are a set of buttons. I'll need to open the trailer barn doors to do this. I'm gonna do that right now. What I'm gonna do then, I'm gonna open up the doors one at a time, making sure I keep them secured correctly, and just be mindful of the fact that something may fall out if it hasn't been secured correctly. Very important to ensure the barn door is secured on the side of the trailer using this locking mechanism. Situated in this lug here, press down and will not come open. It's very important then that you do one door at a time, both hands firm grip just in case a gust of wind, these are heavy, a gust of wind will take the door. Okay, so you just need to be very mindful of that. Exact same on this side. Good, I'm content now. Okay, to operate the deck then and raise and lower it from the rear of the trailer, okay, you have an up and down button and also a red power switch, okay, just behind this um, reflector. You need to make sure that the red power switch is engaged whilst pressing the down button in order to allow the locking nuts um, to lock themselves or stow themselves away to allow the deck to be lowered. Okay, so we've already seen how to operate and lower, raise and lower the deck outside the trailer. Um, so as a driver, that's your first point of call. However, if that doesn't work, then you have uh, more buttons that you can use. Now these buttons are at the rear of the trailer. Now most of the time, your trailer is gonna be on a bay already um, and you won't, you won't be able to get access to them. So you have two options. You can ask to go inside the, the distribution centre warehouse with one of the members of staff uh, and you can go in with them and operate and, and try the buttons on the, on the rear of the trailer to see whether you can lower the deck. Or you can ask them to close the bay, wait for the green light, collect your keys and pull the trailer forward so that you can gain access yourself to the buttons. Now, the buttons are situated at the rear of the trailer on the left hand side. Running from the top, you have an isolation switch, which you need to make sure is depressed and illuminated before trying to operate any of the other buttons. Going down from there, you have the two deck up and down buttons. Below that, you have the up and down for the suspension to raise and lower. And then at the bottom, all right, you have the power button. Now you need to make sure the illuminated isolation button is applied and the power button is depressed when you're operating any of the other buttons. And I'm just gonna show you to, uh, how to make sure that these are operational uh, and then the deck will be lowered itself. But I'm going to, because I've come off the bay, have to get onto the deck using three points of contact, go across to that side and operate these buttons. For safety, you need to be very wary of lowering the deck in this position, okay? Because it is supported by four steel wire ropes and should be held under tension. Well, when the locking uh, bolts are fully depressed, as they are, you will be able to lower the deck. And you may get to a certain point where you need to bend the knee and allow the deck to be lowered, like this watch. Isolation switch, it is now illuminated, and I know that I'll be able to operate these buttons whilst depressing the power button. From this point then, I'm going to press down on this button here, and that will bring the bed of the trailer down. 
what we have now is the safety period of 10 to 30 seconds. And as you can see, the deck is beginning to lower. I'm going to step bend the knee. Okay, the deck will lower. It'll probably take about a minute for it to lower. Okay, at this point here, okay, it, it does become quite tight. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand up, supporting myself on the deck, to get into a position to be able to lower the deck past uh, and, and to the point where it reaches its lowest point. Okay, at this point then, the deck has been lowered. It is, it is at its lowest point, and I'm gonna make my way back over to the other side of the deck to utilize the rope handle, three points of contact, and get down from the trailer. At this point then, you've managed to make sure that the deck is in its lowest position. You're most likely going to have uh, products on the deck that need to be offloaded by the warehouse staff. You are now going to have to reverse the trailer back onto the bay and make sure it's, uh, it, it's, it's in the correct state uh, or correct level for the, um, the warehouse staff to access and egress the trailer. You're going to have to be mindful all right, of the height of the trailer at this point. You may need to lower the suspension so that this bed is in line with the bay. And the way you do that is by operating the handle on the outside. Here we have the blue handle. Now, you should depress the handle and then turn it to the left. And that will lower the suspension of the trailer. As you can see, the trailer is lowering. At the same time, I'm just looking to make sure the level of the bed is in keeping with the level of the bay. Once you're content that you've got it correct, simply let go of the handle and the trailer will stay in that position. Equally, if you need to raise the trailer suspension to make sure either the bottom of the trailer or the bottom of the bed needs to be in line with the, the bay that you're on, then you depress the handle, twist it to the right hand side. As you can see, the trailer is raising itself and I just look round to make sure that the levels are correct with trailer bed or bottom of the trailer and the warehouse bay. To stop this, I will just let go of the handle again and the trailer will stay in that position. Upon completion, if you wish the trailer to go back to the correct level for road use, all I will do is I will pull the handle towards me in the down position. The trailer will now level itself off to the correct road going position. That is the completion of how to operate the deck on the double deck trailer.